What a great move, and he scores! Can you believe it? That's a stone-cold save. Hi, CHL fans. We are back at it again with another episode of CHL Center Ice. I'm your host, Victoria Vigilante, and I'm alongside the one and only John Tripp, who is looking very nice this evening. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm not sure what happened. In hockey, we always said, look good, feel good, play good. And I think I got my hockey flow on point today, so I'm ready to go for today's show. <laughs> well, the group stages are finally over, and it was the closest one we've had yet. It was some amazing hockey, big saves, and some even better goals. Yeah, a lot of good things happened. For starters, Martin Tornberg from HV71, he led the way with four goals and four assists in four games. Carpat and Wolfsburg, they didn't allow one goal against on their penalty kill. Especially teams like that, it's going to win you games. And the last one is Oliver Dame Malka. In one game, he had 52 minutes in penalties. Not only was he not determined, but he didn't quit after the first penalty. He went for more. Well, when you talk about good hockey like that, you can't forget about burn and linchipping. 12 points in the group stage, it was amazing. They're on fire going into the round of 32. Yeah, definitely. We have some clips here that we're going to show. Let's rock it. We tip our hats to the perfect number 12. Two clubs managed to scoop up all four regulation wins. So it's a no-brainer that we take a closer look at the hottest CHO clubs so far. SC Burn made short work in Group F, outscoring their opponents 17-5. Credit goes to a solid defense and remarkable net mining from Leonardo Giannoni. With a save percentage of 93.9 and a goals against of 1.25, he gave Burn a winning edge night after night. Their depth cannot be overstated. Six players have four plus points already. When every line can score, it gives the opposition nightmares. Shopping are the other perfect squad. Led by top scorer Brock Little's five goals, they prevailed against Gaprapas and Yipke Veskela. The Swedish squad kept their cool and rallied to victory as well as cruising to it. It is the leadership, skill, and dedication to their system. And that is why they've got 12 points. Twelve points in four games, perfect record in the group stage, that's huge. No, definitely. I can't argue with that. And right now everything's going really well for them. But the one thing they have to think of, it can't be too high. They have the next round, starts over again. So those four wins, it helped at start, but now it doesn't mean anything. Well, it wasn't as easy for these next six teams. It was do or die. A win from each game will bring the winner on to the group of 32. On the very last day of the group stage, there were still three playoff spots up for grabs and all of them would be decided in direct duels between the teams that had a chance to advance. In Group C, Adler Mannheim and Tapura Tampura met in Finland, with Mannheim needing just a single point to go through. It was a close game in which the hosts got off to the better start. Henrik Hapala opened the scoring after just 31 seconds. At the end of the first period, Veli Mati Savanainen extended the lead to two with this beauty. Mannheim scored in the second, but Marcus King's goal wasn't enough to overcome the Finnish champions. The Germans are out, and Tapra Tampera are still in it. In Group G, Esbjerg's overtime win against IFK Helsinki on Friday meant they entered the final day in second place. But IFK were ruthless in the rematch and destroyed all of the Danes' playoff ambitions. Helsinki won the game 7-0 and earned their spot in the last 32. In Group N, Kalpa Kuopio traveled to Vienna to meet the Capitals. It was a hard-fought game, but the visitors had the better of the action. Although Jean-Philippe Lamoureux stood strong in the Vienna goal, Jesse Mankinen scored two goals to condemn Vienna to a second defeat in a row against Kalpa. 3-1 for Kuropio is the final score, a deserved win to extend their CHL campaign. These were some really nice matchups, but did you expect this kind of outcome? Uh, with Tapra and Helsinki, I did. Tapra, they're coming off a great season. They won the Finnish League last year. They want to have another start. They did just that. They beat Mannheim at home. It was a great game. Helsinki, a lot of hockey history there. I expect a lot from them. They had their last two games against Esbjerg Energy from Denmark, a team that we thought they'd grew, roll over, but we'll show you later. It was a nail-biter. Well, with 13 different countries in this year's CHL season, we're going to take a look at which teams made their countries proud. As you can see here, we're showing the teams that are moving on to the next stage. In the top right corner, we have two for two teams from Slovakia. On the left side, we have the teams that are still dominating, Finland 8 for 8, Sweden 7 for 8, and Switzerland 6 for 6. 
And for the first time, we have three German teams out of the six moving on. We have the two Bears, Berlin Ice Bear and Wolfsburg Grizzlies, and the champions last year from Munich. Good luck, fellas. Well, I'm really looking forward to the round of 32. It's going to be some great hockey. And of course, I'm always proud to present Trips Tips. Thanks, Vicky. Now, the first clip, we're going to show a goalie make it or break it decision with 23 seconds left from Minsk. If he scores, that team doesn't go through. And this is why I say goalies are so strange. And now we know why. It's all about the pressure. Great save, Dimitri. My tip for here is everybody should be buying that goalie a beer. Now on to the second clip. It was an important game for Vienna. They could have moved on to the second round. It's a breakaway. Has tons of time. And whoops. He forgot his hands at home. Let's show this one again. And my tip here is you got to treat your hands like an American Express. Don't leave home without them. And for the last clip, it's not so much a tip. It's more or less showing we're going to leave on a good note here why the CHL is so much fun. There's 15 seconds left in the game. Esberg energy and energy is what they had. It was six on three. They never quit. They showed emotion and determination. They gave themselves a fighting chance to move on to the next round. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but you know what? It was one of the best games of the season so far. And that's why, to me, ice hockey is the best game in the world. And I hope you guys enjoyed Trips Tips. That's it for today. Not all goalies are weird, John. <laughs> well, don't forget, you can check out our YouTube channel and go to championshockeyleague.net for all highlights and game stats. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode of CHL Center Ice, and I'm already looking forward to the next one. Yeah, we're going to have lots more hockey to show. 32 teams, the quality of hockey is going to be a lot higher. It's going to be a long ride. hope everyone's got some fresh underwear. I got mine packed. We'll see you guys next time.